I had low self-esteem. I didn't love myself. I was suicidal a lot. And so these personalities and how I would see people like and gravitate toward them, at one point, I was like willingly allowing them to just take control, willingly allowing them to just take control. I felt attacked by the world and I felt like there was no place in the world for somebody like me with my heart, with my vulnerability, with my softness, with my sensitivity. That was the side that got abused. That was the side that got preyed on, willingly allowing them to just take control. Then my own family, like they would pick on me for being so sensitive and for being a crybaby and just like being like this little girl at heart, willingly allowing them to just take control. The darkness made me feel powerful. The darkness made me feel protected. I had this upper hand. At any point, anyone try to take advantage of me, ha ha, little do you know, I have demons that I can let out and I can hurt you just like how you hurt me. And I think that that's the danger. And I think that that's why they pick people who are in that low place. I lived and grew up in this very horrible place. Outside was bad people. And so I would have to almost kind of hide. And I didn't know that in me hiding that, that it gave root for that. And willingly allowing them to just take control. Like I couldn't be myself here on earth. So I was like, maybe death is freedom. Yeah, you're right. You might as well just go. Telling me lies in my head. Nobody cares about you. I, I would do everything perfect on the outside, but then I would just run to drinking and doing drugs just to quiet that down, you know? So I'll never forget that day. I grabbed the knife and I was standing there having these thoughts and again, hearing these voices just saying like, yep, this is the answer. This is the answer. Just do it. Just do it. Willingly allowing them to just take control. And I'll never forget what happened after that. Like, I just felt like this overwhelming feeling of love all through my body. Somebody's hugging me, telling me that they love me and then I could feel it. And I had never felt anything like that ever before in my life. And the knife that I had in my hand flew across the room. And this feeling overpowered me, overwhelmed me so much that I was literally thrown to the floor. You are my daughter and you are loved and you are perfect. And there's nothing wrong with you. And if you just listen to me, take my guidance from now on, I promise you, you will be all right. And I was just like, this voice and this feeling was totally different than what I had experienced. Okay, so mind you, for somebody who's dealt with demons and being possessed and spirits and hearing voices, to hear another voice, I was like, nah, I don't trust it. This is another demon just trying to trick me. I don't trust you. I don't know who you are. You know, all of this you showed me could be a lie. What do you want in return? I already know how this works. What do you want in return? I was literally mocking what now I know to believe is God. I was mocking him and I was like, you're going to have to show yourself and you're going to have to really prove to me that you are God or whatever good thing you are trying to say you are. And so I'll never forget that day because that day was a turning point in my life. 